Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. It is about 1.50 in the afternoon here. And Chris and I got up early. Well, I got up at 6.30. My dogs are barking. I got up at 6.30 and I made a big, I made breakfast. I made biscuits. And I went live for a minute and then I forgot. I mean, I didn't like the way the... It was turning out, so I took it off, and I'll post that later. But anyway, um, I wanted to say hey to y'all and let you know how tired I am today. I don't know if it's because I picked blackberries day before yesterday, and then yesterday I made jam, and today I got up early, did breakfast, and me and Chris went to Tractor Supply and walked around a lot. Then we went to... Um, Mama's, we left Mama's and I went to CVS to get her stuff. Then we left CVS, went back to Mama's, went by the post office, and I got a gift uh, from Mary Mitchell. She got me a uh, a wire whisk that has the silicone on it that's really nice. And so that was cool. I guess I could sit up and talk to y'all. And um, so I got the wire whisk. Anyway, I've been so tired today. I mean, I feel like I've been run over by a train. And I felt like that since I got out of the bed. So I told Chris, I said, when I get home, Deborah was right. She's watching. Deborah, I am tired. I guess from picking blackberries and then making that jelly. So anyway, um, I've just felt so bad and tired today. Uh, I told Chris, I said, when we get home, I'm taking a nap. So I just thought I'd let you know that I do get tired. Because y'all know I do have fibromyalgia and I do have arthritis, inflammatory arthritis, and I have things. And most of the time, I don't show y'all me when I'm tired. But I'm tired today. And I thought, since I was going to be in the bed, because I'm fixing to take a nap, um, I was going to show y'all my CPAP machine. I know a lot of people have CPAP machines now. It really does help um, us rest. And I was going to look at last night. Maybe I didn't sleep good last night because it's got information in it, you know. And um, it says that I got seven hours of sleep. And my AHI is a good number. It's only 2.7. Um, actually, I did good last night. I don't know why I'm so tired. So, I'm going to show you all my CPAP. It's a new one, and I love it. It's such a pain, though, getting your getting your stuff that you need. It has to go around the thousand hoops to be approved, and it seems like it takes forever. But mine is called a uh, Respironics, a Philips Respironics. I'll show it to y'all. This is how it looks. Um, it has a, con it has a, container in it that you can put in the dishwasher and um, and then the filter goes in on this side and I change the filter every once in a while it's not really dirty but I got plenty of those what's hard to get is the face masks now let me show y'all my face mask because some of y'all wear these I'm a mouth breather Lord, I just lay there with my mouth wide open. So, my face mask is for, a, you know, the full face. Okay, I'm going to show y'all this. It's got my makeup on it because I'm bad, and I always take off my makeup when I go to bed. I know that might surprise some people, but I don't. Most of the time, I take off my eye makeup, and then I use my makeup remover I love so much, that uh, microcellular water from Garnier. Anyway, I take off around my eyes, because you can tell I don't have any eye makeup on, and then I go around my face right here, because that's where my mask stays. At least I try to do that before I go to bed. But it's still got a little makeup on it. But this is how mine works. This is the little mask that they replace. Now my mask, let me take it off and show y'all. My mask has a soft rubber on it. The only thing I don't like about it is it's hard to clean. You can't really just clean it and reuse it. I've tried it. It's hard to do, um, but it fits in here like this. This is a new headgear. It's kind of high tech, I guess you would say. It goes over your head. I'm going to show you how it fits. 
like this. These straps are mag. These straps are magnetized, y'all. Watch. See. Now, the only thing that bothers me about it, see this right here? It's pretty close to my eyes, y'all. So, like, if it gets slid up, it might do like this or like that. But for the most part, it works good. It works good. I like it. It's my favorite one so far. Let me put my glasses on and I'll see if it's got a name. I'm crazy, you know. Res Med. It just says Res Med on it. But y'all, my machine is quiet. I'm going to turn it on so y'all can see how quiet it is. Okay? Y'all can hear that air coming out of it. But when I put it on my face, Chris loves it because he can't hardly hear it. My last one was a lot louder. Now that's a quiet machine, ain't it? It's wonderful. Now my mother-in-law used to have one because she needs a CPAP. And hers was one of them old ones and it was loud and she didn't have use it and lord of mercy if you just knew how much better you rest if you need one you should get one if you really have sleep apnea and you're and you're losing breath at night uh you really need to go and get a machine if it's been years since you had one and you didn't like it and you quit using it i suggest you go get it a, a newer one because they're wonderful they're quiet they work good and uh, it's worth it. Deborah says it can call dry. It can cause dry mouth. I don't ever have dry mouth. I have dry eyes, but I don't ever have dry mouth. Probably because I run it so much, y'all. I run it so much. There's plenty of saliva in there. <laughs> anyway, um, I went and got a canner today at food uh, at Tractor Supply. I got me a water bath canner. Y'all, that strawberry jelly, I, I did. My blackberry jam, when I inverted it, every one of them sealed but one. When you invert them, you should keep them inverted until they've sealed. When you flip them up, if the middle still popped up, they're not sealed yet. And I only had one that didn't seal. And it might have had some jelly or something around the edge. Because Chris was wiping them off, and he he's his first time doing it, and so he might have missed a piece or something, and it didn't seal. But the strawberry jam, I'm actually thinking about pouring it back up, cooking it a little bit uh, longer, and um, putting it in a water bath to make sure it seals good. Because the strawberry jam don't have as much pectin in it either. Uh, and strawberry jam is the one you really need to use the um, Sure gel or the pectin or something in if you want it to get nice and thick I don't care if it's thin, but if y'all want it to gel like a real jelly you about have to use that stuff uh, Robin you're on here. I'm sure you can plenty of jelly uh, My blackberry jelly did good it it um, I Think it did the strawberry jelly is kind of runny but it says it was strawberries. They don't have as much pectin in them. It says that a quarter of your strawberries should not be ripe. And I know this is my real southern woman side, and it's not Color Valley Cooks, but I'm still talking about cooking. But anyway, I just thought I'd say hey to y'all and let you know that I'm tired today. I'm going to rest because Sunday we're leaving to go to the beach, and we're taking a bunch of teenagers. And I'm a little worried about it because i got to feed all of them. Yuck. So, I got a lot of work to do, and I might make some food and take with me. If y'all got some good tips on what I could take and make with me so we could just warm it up while we're there, I'll take your tips. Okay? Um, I'm about to take a nap. I just wanted to say hey and let y'all know what I'm up to. I haven't been on here as much as I should with Real Southern Woman. 
I'm just kind of getting back in track and back on a schedule with Chris, and it's kind of weird because he videos more than I do now for his channel. So it's hard for me to video when he's always videoing. Um, Burnett says hot dogs. Absolutely. We are going to grill. So we'll do grilled chicken. We'll do some hot dogs. We'll do some hamburgers. Um, I thought about making spaghetti. You know, that's easy, and it'll feed a lot of kids. Um, because more, most of the time what we do, really and truly, is we sleep. We, the kids usually sleep late. Me and Chris go fishing early. We come back home, and I cook a big breakfast. So we normally have a big breakfast for lunch. And then we have dinner. And we don't eat out, but maybe once the whole time we're out down there when we got that many kids with us, it's too expensive. So uh, there's one seafood restaurant down there that we love. It's called Gulf Coast Seafood uh, Market and Restaurant in Pensacola. It's real reasonably priced, the food is. We'll probably go over there and eat one time. But the rest of the time we'll be eating at home. And most of the time we'll be eating breakfast for lunch and then something for supper. And um, But anyway, i got to think of some things to take. Um, I hope y'all have a good day. I'm going to take me a good nap. I'm going to study for Bible study tomorrow morning right quick. And then I'll get sleepy and go to and take me a nap. Deborah says, young people like those choices. I know. Teenagers, they'll be good with a bowl of cereal. A cereal and some milk. And, and popcorn. You know, microwave popcorn. Stuff like that. That's what they like. And cookies. Yeah, Deborah, they like cookies. Well, I hope y'all have a good day, and I will see y'all soon. Maybe I'll bring y'all something more interesting next time. Bye. Love ya.